Well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. Today we're going to talk about high flow caps and check engine lights. Now, for the, those of you that uh, that are thinking about getting high flow caps and and, and you're afraid of or, or worry about getting a check engine light or is affecting your uh, your emissions, uh, in this video I'm I'm going to try to address that uh, that that issue and. Um, so this vehicle, uh, if you've seen some of my uh, other video, I do have a high flow cat and an aftermarket uh, catback system. Uh, the high flow cat is uh, uh, Cooks. Uh, Cooks is the manufacturer, and uh, MBRP uh, catback exhaust is what I put in. So um, I I have about two thousand miles on on this car so far, and at about. 1800 miles or something like that the check engine light did come on and it's uh it, it says something about the uh, uh the emissions uh, i forgot what the, the code was but basically the o2 sensor is sensing that um the uh the catalytic converter is not doing its job basically and um so the first thing i did was uh, i i tried to clear the code using my scanner and um I think it's uh, the name of the scanner is Blue Driver or something like that. It's a really good scanner, um, and uh, I was able to uh, to reset that code and to make the engine light goes away. So uh, then I, I I drove for another probably three hundred miles plus. Uh, the the check engine light hasn't come on yet, so uh, I was hopeful that uh, it's going to stay off. Or, you know, whatever shows up every few thousand miles probably doesn't bother me much, but um, I want to see if it uh, comes on a little more frequent. So um, I did some research online, and a lot of people are actually using these O2 sensor extender. And this one you can buy them just from about anywhere, including Walmart website. And uh, a lot of people put this on the downstream O2 sensor. Uh, so basically, you, uh, you you get this into the catalytic converter, so the, the flow stream is going through there, and then you put your O2 sensor on top. And uh, the, just the real one, that's the one that, that reading the, the O2 uh, levels, and then it compares to the front one. And uh, so that's where I'm at, guys. So if you, uh, if you uh, wonder if you, you're going to get a check engine light using a high flow cat, uh, it seemed like like yes is you're gonna get them. Uh, I I don't know how frequent uh, it's gonna be yet because I, I'm I still don't have all that miles uh, racked up yet. Uh, now another issue that I ran across is that um, I I had this car about a year now, and uh, so while I was at it, uh, I used a scanner to uh, to scan for uh, smog uh, to see if the emission ready and. Um, uh, at the time when when I did the scan, it's almost two thousand miles, and it says it's not ready. Like none of the emission stuff is ready. Uh, I'm I'm pretty concerned. You know, it's it's been already a year, and at the end of the second year here in Texas, you got to go get it, um, get the emission tested. So it's gonna fail emission if um, none of the stuff is ready. So I really don't know what's going on there. Uh, now one one of my theory is that. I have not driven this car with the Z mode off yet, and I, I think that's that's probably why I, th I think the system is looking for like all the different driving modes, you know. So it actually kicked into the four cylinder and then measuring all those things. That's my theory, anyways. I I don't know if if that's true, but I've been uh, driving the last couple hundred miles uh, with the. Um, uh, with the touring mode and all that, which is quite boring, but hey, you know, you gotta get your emission stuff done. Now, uh, I, I'm not sure, I, I haven't checked it yet. I'm, I'm gonna wait a little while longer. Uh, I'll check it and I'll, I'll let you guys know if it actually uh, worked. So I'll, I'll do another update video on whether uh, my check engine light's gonna come back and then uh, whether uh, driving at different, different driving modes is gonna help me to get the smog stuff ready. So um, that's where we are, guys. I just want to give you uh, some information on, on check engine lights. I, I know a lot of you are concerned about that. I was the same way when I tried to get my, uh, my uh, high flow cat. So I was very concerned that uh, I'm going to get those. 
uh, but it seems like you know it's, it's only came on like one so far so I'm, I'm just keep my finger across if it's doing it again this thing is gonna uh, come on now uh, it's quite a hassle to get this thing on because uh, the downstream uh, O2 sensor is actually tucked behind the um, the air filter uh, box so you got to pull the box to to get to the wiring harness where you can uh, actually pop off the O2 sensor uh, before you can actually uh, rotate it and, and turn it on uh, to, to get it off the car and to get this adapter on. Now, you probably can just try to twist it and keep the uh, wire harness plugged in at the back of the box, but I wouldn't suggest that you're gonna be twisting the wires all the way through trying to get it out, and probably not a good thing. So uh, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. So that's, uh, that's my plan B. If it's gonna happen again more frequent, uh, this thing's gonna go on. So anyway, that's it guys. Appreciate you, uh, you guys tuning in to KT Garage. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.